Hello, my name is Lisa Shea, and these instructions are for making a Mobi file out of your Word document. So I've got my Word document here. It's a book on yoga, and you can see that I mark it with the version number. I keep each version as an entirely separate file, so there's never any worry about overwriting things. So this is Yoga 4. On the copyright page, you can see I've got it marked as version 4. I always know what version people are reading if they have comments that they want me to make in them. And this does have text and images, so you'll see as we page down through here that there are images in here as well. So these instructions work well for anything that has images and text, any sort of combination of the two. So this is right now a Word document. Our first step is going to be to save this as a filtered HTML document. So we're going to go into the Save area and save it as, and then one of the options here is going to be a filtered HTML. So you can see that choice there. We're going to save it out as the filtered HTML version. It's going to ask us to overwrite because I've done this before while I'm doing my runs here. And it just warns you that you're going to lose a little bit of information. So just click yes. This is the filtered HTML version. You can see that it's pretty much the same as the Word document and it's got the page breaks between each of your major sections. So you can scan that and make sure it looks okay that the images are in there. And then you can close this down because you don't need that anymore. The next package we're going to work with is Calibre, which is a completely free package. You can see my library of books. So I'm going to edit my entry that I've got for this yoga book. You can also do add entry and it will bring you up with the exact same screen. But in my case, I'll do edit since I've got it in here already. It's got the cover, it's got the title, it's got the author name, and you delete out the old version of the book that you had previously if you're editing. If it's a new one, you just add the new one and you add that filtered HTML file in there. So that's the only change you need to do is add the filtered HTML file. And you can see the different settings in there, but once you set those up, then they're the same for the rest of their lives. Now we're going to go into convert. It brings in that information that you set up already. The only thing that you really need to check is the table of contents. And you again, you set this up once and you never have to touch it again. So you make sure that it has the H1, the H2, and the H3 settings. So it uses your chapter headings. Make sure that it's going to account for the number of uh, sub-levels that you've got. In my case, I needed to go up from 50 to 100 because I added some more chapters in here. And once you click OK, off it goes, and it's turning this into an EPUB version for you. The EPUB is the first step, and that's really quick. You can see it's already done with the EPUB. So now I load up Sigil, which is an EPUB editor, to make sure this EPUB version is as clean as possible. I browse to get to the EPUB that the Calibre software just made for me, and here's the EPUB version. So it's going to bring it in, and you can see all the table of contents on the right-hand side that everything brought in smoothly, the H1, H2, and H3 levels of settings. The first thing you're going to do is take off this aspect ratio entry to make sure that the cover always stays nice and rectangular the way you want it, and then we click the green check mark in the top right. It's going to look for errors in here. So we click on the first one, and you see that it's got the, the V-links. That's not something that Mobi files and EPUB files like. So you select that, you paste that in what you're searching for, you replace it with nothing at all because you don't need to worry about those colors, and then you replace all across all documents. And you can see that it's replaced them all out for you. So it fixed that error for you. We click the green checkbox to see what else it's found. So again, we find the next thing that it's found. We're going to select out that section we're going to put that into the search field. We're going to replace it with nothing at all. Replace all. It's gone through the entire document and pulled all of those out. We're going to click the green check mark to see what else is next. We're going to search it out. Now in this case, for the picture, the issue is that it doesn't like a space in the picture name. So we're going to look for everything with the picture in a space, and then we're going to place it with the picture without a space and that will suck them all in as you can see when we do the replace all. You can see there's two different instances of it just on this one page alone and in both cases now there's no space in the middle of the picture information. So then we search again and it, there's four or five things that it usually tends to find and it's the same things over and over again so you get used to just looking for them, searching them, replacing them out with nothing and hitting the replace all and it will find them all. So it's quick and easy once you get the hang of this, it takes maybe you know 10 seconds or 15 seconds to just search, replace, search, replace, search, replace, and go up and click, and now you can see there's no program problems found. So it's very quick for it to go through and take out all of those common types of problems. 
and click the Save button in the top left to save it. Go back to Caliber. We're going to convert again, and this time we're going to convert from the EPUB version into the MOBI version, because we just edited the EPUB version, so the EPUB is clean, and now we're going to make a MOBI out of that. So once we click on OK, it's running the conversion to convert from that clean EPUB file we made into the final MOBI version, which is the version that um, Kindle uses. Once it gets done in here, then we can open it up in our Mobi Reader on this machine and make sure everything looks perfect. So over here on the right, you can see the different versions. We're going to click on the Mobi one. That's going to open it up automatically into our Mobi Reader, and there we've got it. We have our own Mobi file. We can make sure it is exactly the way we want it to be. If there's any issues at all, we go back into that EPUB editor, and we can edit the EPUB and tweak things, and then reconvert it into a Mobi file again. So it is very quick, easy, under five minutes, and you get yourself a guaranteed Mobi file exactly the way you want it. Let me know if you have any questions, and have a wonderful day.